Welcome back to this second video and the second email in this little series I'm putting together for you. And in the last video, if you haven't already seen it, then I'll put a link in the email or down below. Go and check that out. That was the story of how I went from constantly losing, constantly placing losing trades uh, until I went through and I hired a coach and eventually he showed me a way to become consistently profitable. He spent about five months and we spent almost 10 hours doing that. However, I've picked out all the, the good bits, simplified things, and I've put them all together in a presentation that I'm going to show you today. So this is, if you're going to look at any of the videos, this is the one to pay attention to. Watch it through to the end because not only am I going to show you a few things on the whiteboard, but I'm going to take you over to my computer, my trading software, and I'm going to show you exactly what he showed me and how you can become a loser to consistently profitable. Okay, so you might be wondering, how did it really change my life, what he showed me, or how did it change my trading life, should I say? And I'm just gonna run through some of the, some of the benefits or what, how you could improve your trading life too with the methods that he showed me and that I'm gonna replicate and I'm gonna show you in the presentation in a little, a little moment. So, how will your trading improve? Well, the first one, you're gonna get consistency. You might, if you're like me, you might already have consistency, and you might be a consistent loser. I certainly was, but with what I can show you, you're gonna go from consistently losing to consistent profits. That's the uh, that's the main thing. We're going to have a good uh, we're going to have a trading plan, and that's going to allow consistency. Number two, we're going to look at we're going to have reduced reduced stress and emotion. Emotion. So reduce stress and emotion because we're going to develop. The trading plan, we're going to know exactly where to get in the trade and then where to get out of the trade, where to put a stop loss if things go wrong and how much money to risk on every single trade. So we're going to reduce the emotion. You're not going to panic about where to get in, where not to get in and then once you're in, where to get out. You worry about losing, you know, leaving too, too much of the profit on the table or taking too big a loss, or worrying about how much you should put on each trade. You're going to learn all that because you're going to, we're going to have a decent plan, a sound, robust plan. Number three, we're going to have confidence, much more confidence. This comes with the reduced stress as well, I suppose. We're going to have confidence because we've got the plan. And our plan, we're going to be able to see how it's worked over the years. We're going to be able to backtest this plan, backtest this method, and see how it's performed over the years. And hopefully, well, it will be a good performing strategy or method over those years. And that will give you confidence to be able to place that trade. You know, you know you're not going to hesitate anymore. You're not going to worry about, oh, is this going to be the loser? Or is this going to be the big winner? I must take this trade. You're just going to become much more confident because you're going to know your plan inside out and know exactly how it works. And the last one, which is the most important of all, this is why we're all here, is profits. So increased profits. I think you all agree that's pretty much why everyone's here for trading because we're here to make money, aren't we? So with all of these, with the plan, what I'm going to show you, we're going to get consistently profitable and all going to lead to the bottom line, more profits in your account, which is exactly why we're all here. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to my trading software and I'm going to go through an example of one of the methods or strategies like my trading coach took five months to show me. I'm going to break it down, simplify it, and I think you'll agree that it's not, it doesn't have to be that complicated. And it's quite eye-opening and actually quite simple. And it's certainly something that you can put into your trading and make work for you. Essentially, what my coach 
introduced me to and what I've been trading ever since. So quite, quite a few years now, which has led me to consistent profits, is a thing called mechanical or rule-based trading. I like to just call it mechanical trading. There's other names for it, algorithmic trading perhaps. And what it is, is a trading strategy or a trading method that's made up of a set of hard and fast rules. Rules to enter the market, to exit the market, where to put your stop loss, where to take profits, uh, and your position sizing. So once we've defined the market, as the first one here, you might be the future, it might be gold, or it might be the e-mini, it might be a forex pair, euro dollar, doesn't matter. Know which market you're going to trade, know which market your strategy is going to work well on. So now we have the market, now we've actually got a rule to enter the position. It could be a very simple rule, or it could be a mixture of different conditions, but we know when we're looking at a price chart exactly those conditions when we're going to actually get in the market, whether it be long or short, it works you know, both ways. We might have different rules for short to long, but we've still got those set of rules when to enter. Once we've entered the market, we've also then got rules of where to exit the market, where to get out of the, out of the market, whether it be at a loss or a profit. We've also got a rule for where to put our stop loss. We know exactly where that stop loss is going to go if the trade goes against us. And optionally, we've got rules for where to take profit on that position. And lastly, we know the correct position size. Because we've tested this, we know exactly how much we're going to risk on this trade. So what it's done, it's removed all the guesswork from trading. I could give you these rules or I could give you or I could give your friend these rules and if we all had these rules written down, we'd all be trading exactly the same thing. There's no guesswork, there's no discretionary approach to this. It's very hard and fast and that helps remove the emotion and build confidence like I've already talked about. Here's an example of a mechanical or rule-based stra trading strategy. It's one I've developed myself. It's a strategy that trades dollar yen and it's breakout strategy. We're looking at a 15 minute chart in a minute from 2008 to 2017. So we're going to look at how it trades over that 10 year period with the same rules. So it takes long and short trades. So it's, it's not just a long only strategy, it shorts as well. Now here's one of the entry conditions. We're only going to take these trades if the breakout if that breakout signal occurs between 21.30 and 23.30. We're looking at Eastern Standard Time here because we're looking at the current exchange time. So it's Eastern Standard for dollar yen. So between that two hour time window, we look at the charts and we go long if there is a breakout of the session high. So what we're doing is Come 21.30, we're looking at a chart of dollar yen and we're marking, we can look at where was the high so far of this current session. So the session starts, depending on your broker, between 1700, maybe 1715 in the evening. That's the beginning of this session. So come a few hours later, 21.30, we mark where the high of the session was and where the low of the session was. And we can put stop orders. So if we go long, uh, we can go out the breakout of that high of the session. So we mark the high of the session, we put in a stop order to go long if prices rally above that. And sort of a mirror, mirror image, we put in a, a stop order to go short at the breakout of, of the low of the session up until this time. And if you remember, we're only taking trades if the breakout occurs in that two hour time window. So if between 21.30 and 23.30, the prices haven't exceeded the high or the low of that session breakout, then we're, not, we're gonna forget the orders, we're gonna cancel the orders and wait till the next day. We don't wanna be taking those orders outside of that time window. So that's the entry conditions. The exit conditions, 
Very simple. We literally just exit at the end of the session. You could say that was a time exit. So it's typically about a 24 hour market. So the end of the session is going to be the next day. So it's going to actually be 1659 or around 1700 the next day. We're just going to exit the position, whatever the profit or loss is. We just use a market order and get out of the position. And we've got a stop loss. We placed a stop loss 150 pips away from where our entry price was. And that's kind of optimal for this strategy. And I've got that number through doing lots of testing. So I know that 150 pips works very well. Now we have a look at the chart and run over the rules again. And I'll show you how it trades. And I'll show you what sort of results it's going to produce for you. Or the, certainly the results that it's produced over this 10 year period that this has been built around. Here's the price chart then. This is the chart of dollar, yen, forex pair, and it's a 15 minute chart. I'm sure you've all seen these types of bar charts or candlestick charts. Something to point out is when you see my cursor here, you see some dotted vertical lines on the chart, and you can actually see a timestamp down at the bottom. Um, that's 16.59. Now that marks the session end. So between those two vertical dotted lines, you can see the session. Being a forex pair, it's, it's almost a 24 hour period. So between that, you've got the 15 minute bars and that 24 hour session. Now, let's look at the entries and the exits of the strategy that we've just been looking at. You remember, I said it only trades between 21.30 and 23.30. So come 21.30, what we do is if I put my cursor on the 21.30 bar, so everything to the left-hand side towards the dotted line is between 1700 and 21.30. So what we need to do is look at the high and the low of that session so far between that two and a half hour period. And then place a stop order to go long if it breaks the high of that, or short if it breaks the low. And what we can see straight away is within the next sort of 15 minutes, the, the high, which I've got my cursor on here, was actually broken. And you can see the little white arrow and it says buy. So we actually went long there. The computer did it because I programmed into the uh, software. And what you can see with this green dotted line shows us the trade. And we've got here the end of day exit. You remember, I said it had a timed exit, it's just a market order, just get out of the trade at the end of the day. So quite simple rules. Doesn't show on the chart, but we have got our 150 pip stop loss. I'll scroll, I'll scroll forward and we'll look at we obviously took a trade the next day, and as I scroll forward, we can see that this trade was actually a short trade. Last one, we bought, we went long, now we've gone short. So the first thing, let's look at start of the session, or end of the session, this dotted line. We move forward to 21.30, which is about here. We're looking for the high of the session, which, looking at my cursor, is this bar here, the high was up here, and the low of the session, which would have been this very early bar down here, and then we place our stop orders to buy if we get the break of the high, short if we break at the low, and you can see we actually broke, broke the low, which shows by this tiny little red arrow that I've got my cursor on, I'll just come off of it. That was the level at which we broke the low of the session so far. And you can see so it's short, it went short here, and it was a good trade. The prices continued to go down and we exited at the end of the day, shown by that green dotted line. So very simple, the rules, buying a breakout and shorting a breakout. If this short breakout hadn't occurred and prices had just carried on within a very narrow trading range, but then occurred later on 
in the session, we wouldn't have taken it unless the trade or the breakout occurred between 21.30 and 23.30. That's part of our condition. Now we've seen what the trade looks like on the chart. Let's have a look at the performance. Now, we're lucky, or I'm lucky, I use multi-charts here that I can program those rules in. That's another big benefit of using rule-based or mechanical strategies, is that you can program them into software, and I actually have the software take the trades for me automatically. I don't actually look at the charts, because the software is running 24 hours a day, and it will just take the trades as and when, according to the rules that I've already pre-programmed. But let's have a look. It also does back testing too. So let's have a look at the performance report. And here's the equity curve. First of all, that's what we're looking at is the equity curve. So you'll notice down the bottom, we've got the years 2010, 12, 14, and it actually starts down at 2008 and ends up at the end of 2017. Now, looking at the equity graph, I think you'll probably agree that it's quite a nice looking equity chart. Would you have been happy to trade that and your your account increase like that month after month, year after year? I think that's quite good. So not only can we look at the equity graph that gives us a really good picture, it's not the only thing we need to look at, but for this point of this presentation, we're looking at the equity graph and it looks quite nice. We can look at so how many trades were taken? So we look at the total trade analysis. You can see that we took a total of 1,260 trades over that period. 540 long trades. We took more short trades, just how the market went. We percentage profitable is 52.7%. Now you might think that that's quite low, but actually that's not a bad winning percentage, especially for a trend following strategy. You don't need strategies that are right 90% of the time. It generally it doesn't work like that. Some of the best ones are around the 50% mark. We'll look at um, a few things. Largest losing trade is 150,000 yen. We're trading uh, one full lot here or 100,000 units and 150 pips does actually equate to 150,000 yen. So that 150 that's when the trades hit our stop loss. That's our 150 pip stop. We can also look at just the uh, the annual analysis. So we look at the periodic analysis, annual period analysis, and this gives us year after year how much money we made each year. As you can see, nine out of the ten of those years we made money. Didn't make money in 2015. We lost a little, but the thing is. Once we understand how to build or collect, find these strategies, we actually we don't just trade one, because why would we just trade one? We can trade a collection of them. And when you trade a collection or a portfolio of strategies, the the down years and or the drawdowns, they tend to smooth out, they tend to iron out, and you've got a collection of decent profit-making strategies. Once they're together, collected in a portfolio, it makes the returns that much smoother and that much better. So essentially, that's what makes up a rule-based or mechanical trading strategy. That's what my coach introduced me to. He showed me some really good examples and it got me on the path of looking for ones that suited me and eventually being able to develop them, which is where I am today, developing, developing them myself. I actually use software, but first of all, mechanical strategies, find ones that are suitable, put them in a portfolio, test them and start trading them. Well there you go, now you've seen a method that I use to trade the markets. That's essentially the, the backbone of, of what I do. And what did you think of it? Was it easy? Was it too complicated? I think you'll like the, the way that you can backtest it and you can see the equity curve and how it performed in the past. Well, that's just one strategy for one market. I actually developed that one. So one strategy, one market. You know there's loads of different markets and even more different strategies. So what the goal is, is to build a portfolio or a collection of these strategies that work on all different markets and put them all together and really smooths out 
your returns. So you're making a little bit of money from that strategy, a little bit from that strategy, put it all together and it makes a really nice increasing equity within your trading account. So the next question, I'm sure you're going to be thinking, certainly this is what I spent years looking for, developing, is where do we find these strategies? I've just shown you one, pretty good one, but where can we find more? Because they've got to be suitable and they've got to work, we've got to be able to see what the performance was like, but where, you know, they don't just come out of thin air. Where are we going to get them? Well, that's going to be in the next email and the next video. I'm going to show you how I've picked up some really, really good ones, where I've got them from, how I've tested them, and it's something that you can, you can go out and start collecting yourself and putting them into your own trading. So look out for that next video and email. It's going to be coming along quite shortly. And in the meantime, if you've got any questions, any questions about the strategy, how it works, is it something that you think you can trade? please leave a comment in the video or on the blog and I'll see you very shortly on the next video where I'll show you where to pick up all these strategies and you can start trading them to get consistency and profitability in your trading too. Okay, see you later.